Hello everyone, meteorologist Raquel Dominguez here on this Monday. Hopefully you enjoyed your weekend. It is a beautiful start to the day so far. This is our live look outside of WBKO Studios. Temperatures here are in the lower 60s and we're all nice and sunny to begin the day. Nothing in the way of rain or much cloud cover. Temperatures across the area sitting in the upper 50s and low to mid 60s. We're going to warm up later today, but for now things are nice, comfortable and certainly calm. Those winds between 5 to 10 miles per hour on average through the first half of the day. Then into the later parts of the afternoon, you can see we could catch a little bit of a breeze going on with those winds expected to be between about 10 to 20 20 miles per hour. Nonetheless, we're actually sitting nice and comfortable for today. As far as those temperatures go, it's going to be a good day to smell the flowers, enjoy the sunshine. And again, I heard it was good luck to have a butterfly up that close to you. So congratulations to Zoe, courtesy of Janetta. If you have any photos of your pets, I would love to see them. Submit them at WBKO.com slash photos. Here's the deal for the rest of the day. Temperatures will be near 66 by 7 a.m. Will be dominated by sunshine, even though it'll feel really nice and cool for today. Our UV is going to stay high, so don't forget the sunscreen. Temperature is only in the mid-70s by midday. Highs later today will top out near the lower 80s. We really should be in the upper 80s, but thanks to that frontal boundary we saw pass through yesterday, things are nice and comfortable for us, not just in terms of those temperatures, but also in that humidity zone as well. After today, that all starts to go back up. Not only are we going to get hotter, but we're also going to be a lot more humid, especially approaching Wednesday and then even the 4th of July on Thursday. Speaking of the 4th of July, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we are going to see some rain showers, especially by Wednesday and Thursday. So any outdoor errands, get them out of the way today and tomorrow. Wednesday, we could start to see a couple of showers developing, especially later in the afternoon, and they do continue Thursday, Friday, and then even through parts of Saturday. Wednesday afternoon, we could see a couple of those stronger storms as well. So the north and western half of our viewing area is going to be under a marginal risk. That's a very, very low risk, but we could see a couple of heavy downpours and a few strong winds as well. So it's something we are keeping a cl uh, close eye on, but for now, that severe weather risk is very low. Watch those temperatures go from the low 80s today back into the mid 90s, Tuesday into Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, we are going to see a couple more rounds of storms. Some of those could be on the stronger side. So it is definitely something we're keeping a close eye on Thursday into Friday. Still expecting multiple rounds of rain. They do continue into the first half of the weekend before we turn mainly dry heading into Sunday.